Hi, this is a quick little video on audit logs using the Percona server for MySQL. My name is Dave Stokes. I'm a community evangelist at Percona, and today we're talking about audit logs. Well, audit logs are used to determine who is doing what on your database server. And Percona server of MySQL, which is free and open source, has an audit log plugin. So you get this enterprise feature with the, at, an, at a community price. As you'll see, the audit plugin is easy to install and use. Audit log plugin. Well, it's used to collect information on connections, queries, and other activities in JSON, CSV, or XML formats. Uh, it's very highly configurable, as you'll see in just a little bit. And you can include or exclude specific actions, users, data, tables, uh, or commands. And the audit trail can also be sent to a file or syslog. So you have even more options. Installation is easy. Uh, you fire up MySQL, the code server for MySQL, and install the plugin. Uh, very simple to do. Install plugin. Uh, the name of the plugin is audit underscore log. Uh, the shared object name is audit underscore log dot so. And from there on, you are ready to go. Uh, if you want to make sure that it's installed properly, uh, you can go out on your server and check the information schema in the plugins table for anything that has the wildcard of audit on the side. And you should see the plugin name audit log from Percona LLC and or its affiliates. Okay, quick example. Let's create two accounts. We're going to create an account called test1 at wildcard and another one called test2 at wildcard. After we create those, we're going to type in set global audit log include and counts test1 and test2. So whatever these two accounts do until uh, otherwise noted will be logged. And you can actually check this. It's the select ampersand ampersand audit log include accounts. By the way, uh, there's also a audit log exclude option. Uh, for most of the commands, you'll see that there's R includes and excludes. So if you have accounts that you don't want to log, you can do that too. So what's recorded? Well, when we connect from one of these accounts, see here, connect, user test one, and we run, run a query, I uh, will show you the query text and show you the user information. You'll see a couple more examples in a little bit. Now, what happens if you fat finger a connection, like I did accidentally on purpose, versus a normal connection? Well, when I fat fingered it to get through, so it records this as a quit, where when I log in properly, it has a connect. Uh, it shows where we are coming from, the account name that we're using, and it has timestamps and connection IDs. Okay, another example what goes into the audit logs. Let's create a table called T1 and then add in some data. When we go to, when the table is created, uh, we have a query record and the command class is create table. And it actually gives us the SQL test text so we can find out who did what to whom. And when we insert the data, you notice the command class is now insert and it shows you the exact uh, text that went into adding that record to the table. Now, the great thing about the audit log is it's very, very configurable. Uh, you can include accounts, as you saw, by set global audit log include or exclude with audit log exclude. By the way, you can also include or exclude databases or commands. So you don't have to record everything. So if you um, have accounts that are trusted, um, you can skip recording those or one if you want to be paranoid about, uh, include everything. Maybe there's some commands you don't really care to uh, to audit, you know, some stuff. You probably want to worry about the uh, MySQL schema, but you probably don't care about uh, something that's used for um, a test account. Uh, well, for instance, to say you really care deeply about tables being deleted um, and you don't want to worry about table creation or selects or someone's typing use in a different database to change databases. So you can go through and pick the commands to audit uh, and then use a command similar to set global audit log include commands. In this case, uh, we want to find out when anyone sets an option or creates a database. Well, that's great, Dave, but uh, 
How do you get a list of the commands that can be audited? Well, simple. Uh, they're out there in your performance schema. And you run this query here, select name for performance schema dot setup underscore instruments. And you look for the one to start with statement SQL. And you will go out and depending on what release you're running, you're going to get 140 some odd different things that can be put into the audit command. Now, you can also set a general policy where you record all events, only logins, only queries, or no events are logged. So between these four options and the influence exclusion you saw earlier, you should be able to whittle this down to just about what you really exactly need to record for your audit trail. Uh, maybe you're doing some sort of financial stuff and your financial auditors want certain information or you have security interests and they want to know anything. With the options here, you should be able to specify exactly what you need. Well, and by the way, uh, to save you from running out of disk space, uh, you also have control of when to rotate the audit log itself or not to rotate it. And with that, let's wrap up. Audit logs are a security tool that can document actions on your server. The Percona server MySQL includes the audit log plugin. So you get this included with the free open source software. Now you can configure the audit log to record what you want, uh, exactly what you want and how you want it. And if you have questions, please call us Percona. We're the MySQL experts and other databases, and we can help you. And with that, thank you for watching. And once again, if you have questions, uh, please let us know. Thank you very much.